Apples and custard are a match made in heaven, so my flaky apple custard tarts are delicious. The five ingredients in this one, puff pastry, shop bought, icing sugar, eggs, cream, and Bramley apple sauce. Plenty of icing sugar on the worktop for this. Unroll the pastry onto the icing sugar. Even more icing sugar on top of the pastry. Roll the pastry back up into a tight spiral. Chop off the messy ends and then slice the pastry into 12 more or less even discs. More sugar down. Squash them down with the heel of your hand. Then roll each piece out into a disc that's just big enough to tuck messily into a pre-greased muffin tray. Line all of the holes in the muffin tray and then pop this into the fridge for 10 minutes just to keep cold. Pop the egg yolks into the bowl and sieve in the ice and sugar and then whisk in the cream until it's all well combined and smooth. Divide the apple sauce between each pastry case and then I'm just going to pour the custard over the apple sauce, leaving about a millimetre or two of pastry at the top. Bake the tarts for 20 minutes at a whopping 220 degrees C. These will go dark and they might crack, but that's all part of their rustic charm. Once baked, you must remove the tarts immediately, otherwise they're going to stick in that muffin tin. So get them out and pop them onto a wire rack to cool. When it's time to serve, dust with a little bit extra icing sugar. My apple custard tarts, flaky, buttery gorgeousness.